All right, so maybe you've been doing photography for a little bit now, and you're thinking to yourself, how do I make a couple bucks with photography? Maybe you're not really sure where to start off. So let's talk about what your first photography side hustle might be. Now I have to preface this with, you have to know the basics of your camera first. If you don't understand manual, you don't understand flash, go ahead and go back to my channel, take a look at some of the manual setting photography videos I have, and some flash tutorials, and get the basics under your belt first, before you even start trying to build a portfolio. Now when you're first starting off photography, and you love the idea of turning into some sort of side hustle, I think couples portraits is a great starting point to do that. But how do you go about selling yourself if you've never done it before? Well, I have a few steps in mind. Step one, you're gonna wanna go around asking your friends, your family, if they want any free couples portraits done. When I first started off, I did this with my brother and sister-in-law, my best friend and his fiance at the time, as well as a few other shoots where I did very low budget, doing them for either free or just a little bit of money, just so you get the experience you need to learn how to you know, pose people, how to interact with them, giving them directions on how to look at the camera, using action cues like look up at the camera in three seconds, which is honestly one of my favorite things to do promotes quite a natural look. And overall, it's just gonna give you the practice that you absolutely need when pursuing photography as a career or side hustle. Now that's step one, I'd recommend probably at least three of those where you're doing them kind of for free or low money, take a ton of photos more than you normally would, and you're gonna use those photos for building your portfolio, which is extremely important and the whole idea behind step one. Without a portfolio, you're not gonna book clients. They're not gonna just take you at your word that you know what you're doing. You need to show them that you know what you're doing. Now that we have a portfolio, what's the next step? And that's step two, you need a Facebook page and a website. Specifically, you need them to interact with one another. Your Facebook page should link people to your website and your website should link people back to your Facebook page in some way. On your Facebook, you're gonna be making individual posts like, hey, you know, I just had a great shoot with so-and-so. Here's a few of the photos. If you're interested in booking something with me, please send me a message, let's talk about it. In that post, link them directly to your website. On your website, have a page about pricing. And most importantly, you need a portfolio on your website, showcasing your work, using that free work that you did with your friends and family, and turning that work that you did for free, I'm using quotations because it is an asset, into potential future clients. And lastly, once you have your Facebook and your website set up, I'm gonna recommend Facebook advertising as a way to reach more clients. In general, I find targeting people from 18 to 35 has the best results. You can do it by location. If you're willing to travel, obviously, you know, broaden your location, but if you're not, you know, specify that in your uh, advertising. And Facebook also allows you to target people who are recently engaged. Maybe they're actively searching something with wedding or wedding planning, and that will help you narrow down where your ad's being seen. So you're not just getting a bunch of random comments leading to no actual leads. Now this is an extremely important question. Honestly, probably one of the more hard things to think about is how do I go about pricing for the first time? And I'm gonna say, it's okay to start off a little cheap as you build your portfolio. As you build your portfolio, your experience is gonna get better. You're gonna get more knowledge. You're just gonna all around get better at photography and it's gonna result in your portfolio. And because of that, you're gonna gradually be able to raise your prices. So I think a good starting point for a 30 minute session is around 50, maybe $75. And for an hour session, which is more than enough for most engagements or couples portraits, maybe a hundred dollars. In your first year, it's extremely important just to get a bunch of clients. So word of mouth starts spreading, you get better, your portfolio builds. And because of that, I probably wouldn't look into charging over $150 at any point in time in your first year. Now, once you have your ad out, you're gonna potentially start communicating with your potential client. And here's the most important step with that. Get them on the phone as fast as possible. You don't want to sound like a robot via text or Facebook Messenger. Getting them on the phone, talking to them, seeing if you guys vibe together is gonna to be your best way to land potential clients. And the last step, and this is a tip more than anything, when you're advertising, if you only have a limited advertising budget, which you probably do when you're first starting off, target specific holidays. You know, target like a fall autumn shoot where you're like, hey, do you guys want fall photos in the beautiful foliage of the Northeast? Do you want some Christmas no photos taken? You got Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Halloween, Christmas. Those are all extremely important holidays for photography. So starting your advertising based around those holidays, like a month prior to that holiday, I find that you yield the best results. As always, let me know if you have any questions about pursuing this as a career or a side hustle. I'm always more than glad to help you all out. This is kind of my second video on this topic and if it's helping you guys out, I'm gonna do more going over the mundane aspects of like the business side of photography side hustles or even pursuing it as your main career. I could potentially deep dive into my advertising strategy, my marketing strategy and how I market myself using Squarespace and Facebook, my social media posting strategy. I can go over things like my pricing strategy and my plans to increase 
increase that price as time goes on. I think judging by the first video I did on the topic, you guys had a good response to it. So I might continue those videos. So just let me know in the comments if you're interested in learning those aspects of a photography business, whether that be a side hustle or your passion and you're trying to do it as your career. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you liked this video and I'll catch you in the next one.